but in the context of protesting. 11.34 is the time. Jackie's in Bexley. Jackie, what would you like to say? Uh, yeah, well, I'd like to say that um, all the aggravation it causes when people are protesting, mm. um, blocking roads, the way to protest isn't by blocking roads, stopping ambulances, police cars, stopping the public getting to work. It just makes people angry. Um, and how, did you, how did you feel about the Queen's funeral? The Queen's funeral? That was organised. Yeah, but my God, they shut a lot of roads. Yeah, but that was organised. That was organised. It wasn't... It's not like these protesters that just do it willy-nilly. But you couldn't go, you couldn't you go anywhere. Know, you couldn't go anywhere. Everybody knew the Queen's funeral was on that day. Yeah, but if you had a heart attack, it wouldn't make any difference, would it? Yeah, but they, they had roads diverted. Did they? So you, well, why you can't they get, do that? Why can't they do that when it's just stop oil, then? Because they just do it without um, without letting people know. They just do it. Yeah, they but if, if they can get the, the if they can get the police on the spot to do the arrests, then they can they can divert the roads that they used when when it was the Queen's funeral. I mean, no, to be no, honest with you, we right. we it's both know right. they didn't divert the roads. If you were in the West End of London, you couldn't go anywhere by car. Yeah, but then who was going to work? Everybody was off work. Everything was closed. Do, do, the we're talking about hos- we're talking about work. police cars and ambulances, aren't we, Jackie? Yeah, but... They weren't off there work. Was, there was a reduced service, though, wasn't there? Well, that's terrible. A lot of people, a lot of people were, were watching the, fu- the funeral, were there at the yeah. funeral. It was organised. It was organised. That's right. the difference. Well, These protests aren't organised. OK, so you'd become... So like we should organise them, then? We, they, they should... I mean, they... Because what we've got to do is compare the disruption. Yeah, if they want to organise them, that's fine. I haven't got any problems... Even with them if it shuts them. down the whole city? Sorry? Even if it shuts down the whole city? Well, you're not going to shut down the whole city. Well, the Queen's funeral in did. Certain area. The Queen's funeral did. Yeah, the, the, we're not talking about the Queen's funeral. Well, I kind of am. I, I, I appreciate you don't want me to, but I, you, you can't object to police cars not being able to get through in a sort of theoretical sense, but be no, perfectly no, comfortable. It's, it's, complete, it's completely different. The what, Queen's what? funeral is organised. Things like yeah. that is organised. Okay. The public know... The public know what's happening that day, and you would avoid going to those areas. When do you think the police should be able to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong yet? No, they shouldn't be able to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong, but people gluing themselves to no, the No, 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 they can already arrest them. This is about people who haven't done anything wrong yet. Yet? Yes. Why should you wait for somebody? If you know some, someone's going to do something How wrong... How do you know? Well, you don't, do you? But if people, like you say, if you said earlier, if people are on parole... You know, no, hang on, let's just on pick them. up, let's just rewind a bit. Because you said if you know somebody's going to do something wrong, and I said, how would you know? And you said, well, you don't, do you? But the law would allow the police to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong yet if the police fear that they might, or that they're about to. So when would you do that? When would you be in favour of that? Well, I'm not saying I'm in favour of arresting somebody that hasn't done something wrong. But that's the entire phone-in topic that we're having at the moment. Well... You know, the, the the thing is, I thought he was talking about how you feel about protesters and things no, like that. No, definitely not, no. Because the point is, the police would say they've already got enough powers in those uh, in those circumstances. You know, Charlotte Lynch, my colleague, got arrested just for watching a protest. She didn't even have any glue on no, her that's person. that's totally wrong. That's yeah. totally wrong. I'm not but talking about... They want I'm, more, I'm, but know. they want more powers, Jackie. So you're well, saying that the no, powers they've no. already got led to something that's totally wrong, and now they want more powers? Well, you know, I think in certain circumstances... You keep saying you know. I know it's a figure of speech, but I really don't, because I don't know quite what you think you're in favour of or opposed to. I'm opposed to yeah. these protesters acting like idiots. Yeah. That, um, well, it should be a fr- we should all be allowed to act like... We do not know what paying into the tax system is. Yeah, but no, these, these lines... I, I'm familiar with these lines. I've heard them millions of times before, but we've just established that this is not the conversation in which those lines need to be rehearsed, because we're talking about the police being given new powers to shut down protests before they cause disruption. Yeah, but, but you know, you, you can <laughs> protest. You don't need to block roads. You don't need to do stupid things. But they things. won't have blocked any roads, will they? Because they'd be arrested before. Well, that's fine, then. That's so, fine, then. So, yes, so we're getting there now. Can. So when yes. do you think it's OK for the police to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong? Right. When, well, so... That they're allowed to arrest then, are they, when they're blocking the M25? No, they, the... so they've done that. They've already done something wrong. This is about... I can only right. explain it so many times, Jackie. This yeah, is about okay. the police. Well, they haven't done anything wrong, but yeah. what I'm saying is... they. So know when, just tell me when. Them. When is it OK to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong? The moment they start walking towards blocking the road is when they should be arrested. Now how do you know they're going to block the road? They might just be walking. 
they're not going to just be walking. Common sense says, come on. But the last protest did involve just walking. They were walking up the Strand slowly. That was their protest. Blocking roads. Walking slowly? Blocking roads. OK, so what speed should it be illegal to walk at? I'm not saying it's illegal to walk, but what I'm saying is... It's Blocking it's roads. Common sense, isn't it? Come Blocking on, roads. It's all about common sense. Blocking it's roads. It's all about common sense. So I'm asking because where your common sense leads you. At what speed should you be arrested for walking in the road? It's not, I'm not talking about speed. I'm talking about the amount of people that are blocking access. Yeah, but once they're blocking access, once they're blocking access, they've broken the law. They, they could be arrested. So why do they need new laws to arrest people who haven't done anything wrong yet? Because well, who, who they knows don't. What sort of laws they're talking about? Well, That's I know what sort of laws hearsay. they're talking about. That's why I'm hosting hearsay, the phone you know. in. You've you run hear things from okay. the government. Is any of it right, true? Jackie. At the end of the day, you hear about immigrants talking about immigration. I haven't got a problem. Here it is. And the Jewish situation is completely different. Um, earlier on, listening to, to the, the conversation, um, it's unacceptable. What's happening? Um, the immigra- immigration. I, I feel that you. I, I, I sense you've rung three different phone ins now, except the one yeah, that we're actually well, having. You're getting older. I've been listening to it this morning. Yeah. And I've been listening to it, and it's horrendous because at the end of what the day, is? there's not a problem with people coming into the country, immigrants coming into the country. Why are we talking in, about this? They're going to work. Well, because I want to get it out there because the well, government are afraid to say anything. Can't people you go to a coffee not morning? To say anything nowadays. What? Who's frightened to say anything nowadays? Okay, you, 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 you haven't stopped talking for the last six minutes. Well, there you go. I'm getting my point across. So I'm, why, I'm, why are you I'm, frightened? I'm, I'm, I'm Who's frightened? Who's frightened? I mean, to be fair, I'm not sure you are getting your point across, but I'm delighted that you feel you are. But who's frightened of saying anything? Who are these people? But, but you're not allowed, you're not allowed to on. say things in, in case you're being racist. Like what? You talk about immigration. When people talk about immigration, the one point I talk to a lot of people, I, yeah. I work in the public sector and talk to a lot of people. conversation about protests. Um, yeah, but it is about protests. So what aren't you allowed to say about immigration without being called racist? Um, you're not allowed to say that you don't think Britain should help. Um, the, the you problem just did. is, let people in from the Ukraine, from war torn countries, yeah, that, that are running for their lives. Yeah. But if you're running for your life, you stop in the first country that's safe. Well, England that's Poland. The first country that's safe. That's Poland. Mm-hmm. That's Poland. Well, this isn't, but England isn't the first country no, that's but safe. But if you're running out of Ukraine. You should stay in Poland or possibly Estonia. My geography's not as good yeah, as it should yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? what? Is, you're getting people coming across illegally on boats. But why were you talking about Ukraine? Because the, the, war, the war in Ukraine... You know, what about okay, the war in Syria? Sympathy. They've just, so, shot, so, yeah, they've just so shot a politician in Afghanistan for being a woman. Yes, but what, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm, 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 I'm talking about war-torn countries. Yeah, I'm like Afghanistan and Syria. Sorry? Like Afghanistan and Syria? Yeah. Yeah. If they, if they come over legally in the correct way and not on boats across the channel... What's the legal what way? About. What's the legal way? What's the legal way? Get your documents, come over the legal way. How? How? The legal, the what, legal system what, works. What's the legal way? That's why the NHS is in so much trouble. Oh, NHS! Because so many people come into the country... Fantastic! Um, ...that aren't paying into the system... Right. ...that are getting housing, benefits, because they know the system, because England is a, is a soft country, and everybody knows that. Right. If you come in from another country, you'll get a house, you'll get benefits, you get free medical treatment. That's why the NHS is up the creek, and nobody will say it. Nobody will say it, but I to, will, because that's, that's the truth of the matter. To be, to be fair, Jackie, I've heard loads of people say it, and they are all wrong. How can you say they're all wrong? Well, let's examine it, shall we? Let's just back up one bit. The, yeah. leg- the legal routes that you can come here v- from Afghanistan, what, what, just talk me through what that involves. I haven't a clue. I, I haven't a clue. OK, and let's pretend that I'll those be routes... i I haven't a clue. Oh, well, you don't have to tell us that. I, or not out loud. And now we've... Pretend now that these legal routes exist, even though we both know that they don't, OK? So you get here via one of these legal routes. Talk me through how you get a house and, and benefits. Who knows, but the... Well, you do, the Jackie. Seems to know. You do. So tell, tell so, me how that works. I haven't a clue how they get it, but they right, get it. Right, so you they? haven't, you haven't got a clue funny. how they get they, here. They moan about being in, in, a, uh, in a centre down in Kent. Well, hang on. How, they're, why they're are they in a centre down in Kent if they're all getting houses and, and unemployment benefits? Mm-hmm. Why are they in a centre down in Kent if they can all get a house? These are the ones that are coming on the boats, aren't they? No, they're, they're, no you just told me they're the ones that get the houses. They do. But, but why are they in a centre in Kent, then? Because they're waiting for if, if it, all the paperwork to be done, aren't they? But you were in favour of the paperwork a minute ago. 
That no, would be the that would be the legal be route. Now. You know the situation, and you can't say it's I, right. I do, and it do is. You, do you believe how, how, people that are paying their taxes? But my parents who have worked all of their life and struggled and paid into the system and we yeah. should let any Tom, Dick or Harry come into the country... But we don't, you and see. Get, but we do. No, but how we, can you say that? We do. Well, you don't live in the real world. How many times in this conversation have I said I haven't got a clue? Well, you... How, how can I believe what you're saying? No, how just, do I know It's what a you're simple question. Correct? It's not an opinion. It's just counting. How many times in this conversation have I said... I don't it have it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm being honest. That's and why. And how many I'm being times? Honest, and how many totally times? Honest. And how many times? But I know for a fact. And how many times have you said it? Yeah, I, I haven't got a clue about certain things. I don't know the system. You I don't know the system. Well, but you, I do. But then, know how can you have such a strong opinion about something you don't know anything about? I do, I'm not saying I know about the. So system, if I said to you, point at point is, at something that proves what you're telling me, what would you point at? point at something that proves what you're telling me yeah. well go on to a gp list of patients yeah and and see how long they've been in the country and what they get and where they live right and, and what would this prove is, um council accommodation private renting oh, jackie you go you go in and have a look okay. and you're telling me you cannot honestly tell me that this is not happening well, but I don't, I don't know what happening. you're telling you me. Is tell me honestly. So you're telling me that, 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 that the people, foreign people, go to the doctors. You tell me they're not getting sent straight back, are they? Foreign people go to the doctors. Is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not saying that. You're you're, you're changing everything I'm saying. I don't understand what, what you think. I don't think either of us know what you're saying. Proof. No, yes. I haven't got the proof. No, I know you haven't on. got the proof. Why didn't you no, just say that? So you haven't. So you haven't got a clue, and you haven't got the proof. No. I know. I don't need the proof. But it you doesn't matter, because you can't say you what you want in this country it. anymore without you being called a racist. You walk around any local town centre... And you'll see okay, some foreign people. ...and classed as being racist. There's you walk around any town centre... How can centre, you tell who's foreign? Okay, you walk, and because you can hear the language. So it's not just black, Indian, Asian people. No. It's Polish, it's Ukrainian, it's in Eastern European. Yeah. and what's it's wrong with them again? single language apart from English. What's wrong with them so again? Don't tell me there's not people coming into this country. I, I didn't. I didn't. Well, you're, you're telling me and they're not getting you got, houses. You got you're telling me where they live. You've got Suella Braverman's you parents. You've got Rishi London. Sunak's parents. You've got, you've got, got James Cleverley's mum. You've got you Dominic Robb's dad. What's wrong with foreigners? Nothing's wrong with foreigners as long as hey. they're coming into the country and paying their taxes. But they are. They're not. Not all of them. Well, how do they do that then? Not all of them. You uh, get a job and you work. How do, well, so unemployed foreigners are the problem? Yes. Right. Well, we got there in yes. the end. Yes, unemployed why are they foreigners. Worse, why are they worse than unemployed British people? No, I, I, unemployed British people are as bad. Oh, so why are we talking about the foreigners? Because they're letting people into the country. Who is? The government. But we've just established you've got no idea how you can come into this country legally if you're a refugee. Well, you tell me. You can't. You can. How? Because they're getting on boats and ending that, up at Dover. Yes, that, that's the thing that we said wasn't legal. So what's the legal yeah. route? I don't know the legal route, but what you I'm just saying said is you the did. legal route should be... I like said you, you can't, Australia, and you said you, you can. You have to have a certain amount of so money, what's don't the, you, to get what, into Australia. what's the legal route? I don't know the legal route. There isn't I don't one. Know, and and, and what, what, what member of the public does oh. know the legal route in? Come I, on. I do. What, what, how do you know the legal route, then? Well, my, it's, it's research. Yeah, research. Yeah. Do you want to know what the legal route is, if you want Go to come on, into... you tell me the legal route. There isn't one. OK. How comes that, these, then? Pardon? How, how's that, then? Because the, 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 no the Tories have closed them all down. The French would open up an asylum processing centre in Calais tomorrow. But the Tories don't want to do that because it would involve genuine asylum seekers having their applications accepted and coming to this country legally. But, you, you know, you cannot have... A genuine asylum seeker... Yeah. ...would not be able to come to this country, would they? Correct. If you're a genuine asylum seeker, you go to the except, first safe country. A, except so in you, a wouldn't, you wouldn't have no, this problem. No, you don't, though, Jackie. That's simply not true. Also... What, it is what, true. If you're running, no, if you're running okay, for your so life... OK, so why didn't all the Ukrainians stay in Poland, then? Well, you know, OK, fair enough. But what I'm what saying is... What do you is, mean, OK, fair enough? It's a question. What, why didn't all the I Ukrainians... I haven't a clue. OK, Probably well, I do, again, here, there we are again. You know, I hope someone's decide. keeping count. It's something else you don't have a clue about. Shall I tell you uh, why they didn't all stay in Poland? 
Go on then. Because the idea that people fleeing war zones have to stay in the first safe country they reach is not true. Well, this is what we're told. Who by? By the government. No, you're not. By whoever. Well, actually, on this occasion, you are told that by the government. But mm, they're the, they're they're the same. By the government, but yeah. how do we know what But a minute ago, true what in fact, doing. at the beginning of this call, you were telling me you can't trust anything the government says. Well, you can't, can you? No, you can't, Jackie. You've just said e it. You e can't. Yeah, exactly. You e can't. Except the bits you want to believe. No, no, it's not the bits you want to believe. Like it's what the bits you see about in safe countries. Life. When and you see how the NHS is struggling, yeah. and, you, and all these people are coming into the country. What about foreign and doctors? Fifty percent. Building houses. Fifty percent of NHS doctors now are foreign. Fifty percent of NHS doctors are foreign born. How do we feel about that? I'm them? not saying I'm not against foreign people. So you're, you're oh. changing what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not against foreign people working in England. But if you're walking through the town centre and you see someone speaking Polish. How do you know whether they've got a job or not? I don't. I don't know whether they've got so a job or not. So then how do you know that they're the problem that you can point out to prove to me all I'm the not, things... I'm not pointing at individuals, am I? Yes, you I'm were a minute pointing, ago. I'm you said you can walk through any point. town. If you... people come to this country, no matter where in the world, where in the world they come from, yes. if they're going to work and pay taxes yes. and pay national insurance towards the NHS, then that's fine. So you you're in favour of uncontrolled immigration then? Not uncontrolled, no. Why not if they've because all got to get a job and pay taxes? Many, there'd be a lot less people coming into the country, wouldn't there, that are working. If you want the doctors, the nurses, yeah, and all the on. healthcare workers and all professional people coming into the country, that's not a problem. I don't but the problem is the people that are It'd be a lot harder to see a doctor country. if we got rid of half of them, wouldn't it? I'm not... You, so why are you saying that I haven't said a word about getting rid of foreign doctors? I said... It doesn't matter what country you're from, as long as you are paying... Well, that's, uncontro that's uncontrolled immigration. No, it's not. It is. How can, how can it be uncontrolled? If the paperwork's going through, how can it be uncontrolled? Well, They're applying to come to the country to do a specific well, job, Yes, okay? it, exactly. So we won't put yeah. any limits on how many people can come here as long as they do a job. Yes, but you're not going to have all the uncontrolled you... amount of people coming here that aren't going to work and are going to get benefits get, and housing. And how do they get here again? Who, how does who get here? All the people you were just talking about, the ones with all the houses. They can, well, I don't know how they get here. here Some come again. over on a boat illegally. Right. Some get over here okay. legally, whether you just said Will they're no legal. Will you do me a favour? I don't care how they get over here. I don't know how they get over oh, here. But at the end of the day, again, it's an incredibly here, strong opinion. An incredibly strong opinion for a subject that, by your own admission, you know absolutely nothing about. No, 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 no. You're just trying to change what I'm saying. I'm really not. And I bet, I bet, Go if you on. put a vote out on what people think out there, yeah. you'll get a 99% vote. Well, let's so find out. Right, loads of people want to say the same as me, what, what do you think? not the guts to say it. Well, we're here again, aren't we? Is you, you think you're some sort of brave crusader saying stuff no, that... I don't think I'm a brave crusader. I'm just a normal Well, what does guts mean, then? Person. What does guts mean, Jackie? Gut, uh, you, you know, what, why are you questioning the way, you know, the way I'm speaking? You, you just said I haven't got the guts to do it, and I said that you think you're brave. So if you, if you say I haven't got the guts to do something, guts is just another word for bravery, isn't it? Look, OK, people are frightened to say anything. I have to go now. To well, hang on, okay, again, then. no, we're back there. What are people frightened of saying? Oh, is it worth me, is it worth me finishing? Yeah, is go it on. worth me finishing? Well, I'm, no, look, I'm eight minutes say. late for the break. I could do this all day, but what is it that people right, are frightened then. of saying in, in, in the... Speaking this... up the honest truth about what they feel. But every time you've told me the honest truth, I've asked you one question and you've said I haven't got a clue. That's about the way people get into the country. And well, how can it be the honest the truth? or illegal way of getting into Britain, but it's happening. If I made you, if I asked you to make a list of things you have got a clue about, what would you put at the top of the list? Who knows? Well, I hope Who you knows? mind. I've, I've got a clue about a lot of things. Go on, then. I've got a clue about a lot of things. All right. Well, there's no point in talking to you because you twist everything I say and I, put words into my mouth. I, I, what words have I put into your mouth? I'll come and see you. Question, question, question. Well, that's do, what I do. It's, I mean, mouth, of course, you, I, you, you say something. I know absolutely nothing. I know. You, but well, you, you keep saying I haven't got a clue. Dear. Love dear. to the family, Jackie. All right. Thank you. 11.54.